Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of gold USD. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. So my dear friends, today is Wednesday and this day is going to be very important for all of us because of CPI. As we all know, CPI is a major event. It can bring a trend reversal or it can make a market continue the trend. So please be careful at the time of CPI, especially beginners, new traders. Do not be greedy. Okay, market will be very lucrative because of high volatility. But please do not forget that maximum traders also lose money at the time of news. So observe the market to gain some experience. But please be careful do not gamble with your hard-earned money please do not gamble with your capital and if you look at the market sentiment we can see gold is steady may edge lower in possible technical correction means in the coming days there is a possibility of a technical correction and gold trading at a record high as the dollar and yields fall after us ppi rises less than expected okay so this is ongoing market sentiment and at this moment we can see that gold is trading in a range so if you're uh, just wondering what is the market sentiment, then market sentiment is neutral right now. And before a major event like NFP, CPI, market prefers to stay silent, market prefers to stay in a range or sideways. And we can expect the market to stay like this before CPI. After CPI, obviously market will be volatile, market will be crazy. So when the news will come out, forget about levels and uh, just try to follow the trend of the market because as we all know that when fundamentals or news dominate technicals do not work that is a bitter reality so only way to survive in the news market is to follow the trend that's it okay but before i proceed i have a request to every one of you my dear friends this is a uh, instagram profile okay this is not my real profile but you can see the scammer is using my personal pictures the problem is not using personal pictures. The problem is, okay, he is scamming people for money. Okay, asking for money on messages. So I will be uh, pasting the link in the description. Please report this particular profile as a scam. Okay, and help the innocent people. Okay, this is my request. And obviously there have been lots of scams going on, my dear friends. So please, please uh, follow the profile with a blue tick. The real profile link will be in the description. This is a scam. Please report the profile. So we can still see the resistance around 238084 area is still not allowing the market to go up. Okay, and this level has become very common because this is for the fifth time. Okay, this is for the fifth time market has tested the level. Okay, so what does it mean, my dear friends? It means that obviously this is a valid resistance where we have sellers present around this area. But it also signifies that the level has become too common. And as we all know, market doesn't like common things because market is a zero-sum game. Okay, And if institutions really want to make money, then obviously they will have to hunt down small retail traders like us. So that's why most of the hunting okay, takes place around these common places. So this area, okay, this area is a valid resistance for all, all the traders around the world. So there is a possibility of some stop loss hunting. Yeah, there is a possibility of a stop loss hunting or of a breakout around this area. So next time before placing a sell position in this range around 2375, 2380, please think twice. Okay, if you, okay, if you are very confident also, okay, do not be too greedy okay do not uh, place a big lot size because there is a possibility of a sl hunting because because of liquidity okay liquidity has built up here so there is a possibility of a liquidity sweep or stop loss hunting so please be careful okay and to understand the levels for the day okay we need to switch to a lower time frame here and this is our not beloved but yes 15 minutes chart okay so we can see the market is trading in a range right now this is the resistance and if possible try to stay away from the resistance and whatever we are about to discuss right now will not be applicable after cpi after cpi you only need to follow the trend of the market okay 
so yesterday we discussed about a support around remember 2353 three area 2353 three around two so already we have seen the market has bounced from 2455 five. okay and this is an immediate level so i don't think so next time if market comes down it will work any longer okay it may not work because already has already the market has bounced from 2455 five. try to understand the point here okay so this may not work and we need to remove this level so during the day or before us session if market falls then we can look for support around 2447 to 2444 the support level we discussed yesterday okay this is still a valid support in case market shows heavy correction then we can look for support around 2440 okay these are the two support levels where we can expect some buying before the us session okay why we can expect some buying around this area okay yesterday i showed you guys wait let me go to the one or time frame hmm, it is taking time yeah hmm. see we are using 2440 because of fibo 38.2 percent replacement level when we are considering this particular low here okay and we are when we are considering this low um, okay then we have fibo 50 percent replacement level okay so these are the two levels where we can look for a buy position if market comes down before the us session okay and you can also see that we also have a some sort of support around 244 uh, sorry 2450 during the day okay you can also consider this as well but be a little careful because of same liquidity issue because earlier also okay if you remember i don't remember but last time okay 2450 did not work as a resistance so 2450 okay you can look for a bounce of 20 25 pips okay but otherwise okay 24 the blue box here is a good support for us and the second support for us is around 2440 okay so we do not expect a complete trend reversal or a big bounce of 100 150 pips if you can get around 40 50 pips also before the news it is good enough and after all these are just okay FIBO levels and market which our market is more, uh, waiting for cpi okay so what are the two levels 2440 and also to some extent 2450 cool and if market goes up from here then we can look for a sub uh, sorry we can look for some selling around 2466 and 24670 these are the two levels where we can look for a sell position during the european session if market goes up not before the uh, not in the us session okay why european session we can look for a resistance around this area here also we have used fibonacci how much we can expect we can expect 25 pips if you're wondering oh, well, what will happen with 25 pips my dear friend we are traders we need to be flexible in this market okay if you expect 70 80 pips on a trade okay that is okay there is a high chance that your tp will not get hit okay so we need to be flexible okay we need to keep our targets okay according to the market condition and situation so here you can see we have fibo uh, 50 61.8 percent retracement level plus we have the 50 moving average dynamic resistance here as well and here we have fibo 78.6 around 2469 area so these are the levels where you can look for a quick sell special scalping for scalping purpose before the us session okay and after us session when news will come out okay you need to follow the trend of the market okay and the right now the trend of the market okay we do not have any particular trend here okay before cpi you can expect the market to remain like this market is sideways again i'm repeating okay we have uh two buy opportunities if market falls but yes we can also consider 2450 as well okay if market takes support and if market goes up we can look for quick sell of 20 25 pips around 2466 2469 area okay if market reverses do not place sell position blindly okay and in case market surprises us with good, good amount of selling for example if you see that there is a sudden selling pressure in the market then scalpers you can look for a sell below 2455 as well when market will break this low personally i will not look for sell below this area okay i'll be looking for buy around these areas only i will also not look for sell around 2469 okay personally i will be placing a sell or i will i will try to place a sell position at 2466 because of 
FIBO, FIBO 61.8 plus the moving average here. Moving average is such good dynamic series senses. Anyways, be careful, my dear friends. Again and again, I'm requesting all of you. Okay, um, do not gamble with your hard-earned money and capital. And please uh, report this profile. Okay, thank you so much.